It's Sunday and we are here for a monumental event, the first ever female slope finals here in Crankworx, Rotorua 2024. And I'm coming to you from the first hip. It rained a lot yesterday, the jumps were tarped up, the tarps are now removed and um, surprisingly the track's riding really fast still. It's still rolling fine, everyone's been crushing it so far, we're only a half an hour into practice, smiles everywhere. And um, after yesterday's events, I think this is the absolute silver lining. The women are going to ride, it's going to be amazing. And I can't wait to see how it unfolds. So we got Caroline Buchanan dropping in. Yo! And that's how you film someone with a phone. All right, Caroline, we're coming into the uh, Ladder, part of practice before finals. How are you feeling? Feeling really good. We um, the track was wet initially, and now it's finally drying up. The wind's kind of playing ball at the moment, so this is a natural, just first event jitters. It's nice to be, I guess you could say, almost a veteran, 33 years old. I've been competing my whole life and competing on Olympic stages, and you know this is a whole new beginning. So yeah, there's some really good nerves and excitement and. The men are being really supportive today, so that's awesome. I'm back with one of the steeziest riders around, Robin Gooms. Robin, how's practice going? Uh, it's going slowly this morning. We're just battling a bit of like wet wood and windy conditions. So yeah, just trying to battle through and make something work. Have you got a T to be yes today because of these conditions? Not yet. Um, yeah, I don't know how much time we have, but might be on the day. I think you've got another solid 30 minutes or so. So I guess we should probably let you get back to work. Yeah, cheers, mate. All right, good luck out there. <laughs> cheers. How has practice on event day gone so far? Uh, good, it's a little wet in some places, but the guys are prepping it up and it's getting pretty excellent out there. What's your favorite feature, actually? I wanna, I wanna know each rider's favorite feature. I was really scared of the wall ride at first, but now I think it's my favorite one. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that one. What's the end result you want today? Like, what's your, what's your kind of goal? Um, just a T to B and have as much fun as possible. Riding with all these ladies out here, it's it's so sick, like everyone's shredding and yeah, just to have as much fun. Natasha, looking really, really comfortable all week on course. We're moments away from finals, how are you feeling? Um, <laughs> battling a little bit of wind right now. Not exactly where I want to be. Don't really have my full run yet, but we'll get there, we'll figure it out. I believe in you, I mean, all practice you've been looking really comfortable, like those suicide and handers off that drop out of the whale tail is insane. Thank you, yeah. Um, quick one, do you have like an ideal run or what's your ideal kind of outcome for, for finals? I think I'm playing it a little safe for my run. I like have more tricks that I want to get but I'm just a little scared to huck. But like, I mean, I got time, only 17. Okay, that's insane. Okay, 17 and doing this. I think uh, you could always go for the safe first run and then see how second run goes. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of my plan, I guess. I love it. Okay, well, good luck today and you're going to crush it. Has, thank you so much for taking time before finals to have a chat with us. How has the whole event gone so far for you? Yeah, really good. It's been a massive learning week for us. Um, just choosing to focus on the slope style and what that entails throughout the week and definitely learning some lessons about when to conserve energy and when to start pulling out the tricks that you want to do and like definitely think I could have chilled out a little bit more in terms of like energy but at the same time I got to today and I have done everything that I need to do so again that's a good confidence thing so yeah just tossing between the two. Have you done a full run in a sense of everything just needs to be knitted together for your finals but have you kind of ticked off everything you want to do in practice? Yeah for sure it's all there I just need to put it in a run hopefully. So there we have it, Caroline Buchanan has put down the first ever top to bottom female slope saw run in history. Um, it's kind of goosebump stuff here at uh, Crankworx 2024 after the storm that we had yesterday and now to see today, it's, it's sunny, the women are killing it out here and uh, course is running well, the wind has even died down and now the first female ever in history has put down a flawless run top to bottom.
So second rider to drop was Natasha. She just put down an unreal run top to bottom, another full run. T-Bog's suey drop off this whale tail was absolutely insane, leaning back really far. Double trick, the last feature, just incredible for a 17-year-old. This is mind-blowing. So, so confident. Can't wait for the next rider. This is unbelievable. Shailen Reno just dropped another flawless T to B, throwing tricks all the way down, carrying really, really good speed. I think the confidence now amongst all the riders and the buzz is pretty palpable and uh, can't wait to see the next rider drop. I'm all flustered after that run. That was Harriet has just, I have to say, she has to have gone into first. That was incredible. I was watching the live screen there. T Bog in off the start, no hander the next, back flip, wall ride. She did a no footer into one hander off this, tire grab on this. She basically tricked everything and then finished off with a massive back flip on the final feature. So that has to go into first. That was incredible. I'm properly buzzing now. That was Robin Gooms with an incredible run. I think it's going to be really tight between her and Haz. I don't know who's going to be marked first or second at this point. We're just waiting on the scores. But she tricked her whole way down. I heard screams from up there. Massive backflip. Suicide no hander, the step down over here. I haven't seen her done do that all practice. Massive backflip knack on the last feature. Just tricks like top to bottom so this is incredible i've just heard that patricia Druven is not lining up she's been feeling really sick all week and has been battling just to do practice so it's just top five women now it's all between has and robin by the looks of it for first place so it's still all to play for for run two though So there you have it, the first ever women's slope style FMBA diamond event here at Crankworx Rotorua 2024. The two top riders from run one, Haz and Robin, just did a train top to bottom and massive backflips to finish out their runs. Robin goes into first and Haz into second. And um, yeah, I actually have pins and needles. It's been amazing to witness this and I think we need to go down and talk to the riders. Shailen Reno, you made history today. How do you feel? Amazing. It's incredible to be able to make history and continue it. I mean, it's just going to get better from here. Yeah, I mean, sky is definitely the limit, no pun intended, because these were going that high. Everyone had a clean run. Were you happy with what you put down? Was there anything kind of left out there? Uh, yeah, I had a few crashes out here during the week and definitely had a different run in mind but I'm just super stoked to get top to bottom in a one piece and just build from here. I am here with Natasha Miller, 17 years old, two flawless runs, top to bottom. You ended up fourth today. How do you feel? Just stoked I made it down. Pretty relieved after that and just hyped on it. Did you pull off everything in your run that you wanted to? Um, I mean, like I got the double bar there, which I wasn't even planning on to like I came up with it in between both runs. I haven't like straight barred that jump yet. <laughs> that was insane, yeah, because I've been watching obviously throughout all practice. I haven't seen you do even a single bar on this. So to yeah. do a double, we were watching the footage back and Stefan was like, yeah, it was a double bar. Yeah. I was like, I was going up to the and I was like, I don't know if this is going to go. So I like kind of did like the first one, thought for a second. I was like, I got time and then she went. And I'm just excited to get home and 
get work and you know learn some tricks. I'm here with Caroline Buchanan on a monumental day. You've just got yourself a podium position here at Crankworks. How do you feel? It's such an insane feeling. I had just the emotions run over me at the finish. This feels crazy, like I've won Queen of Crankworks titles, but this one, Slope Star, was iconic and it really was just a moment in history. It's been such a big build up. We didn't have much time really at the end of last season to prepare for this. So once we all knew, we all went to work and yeah, I was just really proud to like see some of my tricks, like that Superman seat grab at the end, come together to be able to piece together nine features in a run not miss a trick, even trick off the wall ride. Um, you know, it was just that performer moment and I think it's so important. I was that little girl at five years old when I grew up doing mountain biking and BMX. It's hard to be what you can't see. So I'm so stoked for all the ladies showing up and shining. The future is strong in women's slope style. And uh, yeah, two podiums for the weekend here at Crankworks. A win in the speed and style. It was, uh, it paid off. I was a bit nervous because I had limited track time, but I think it was a great warm up into preparing me for this third place in slope style. Okay, I'm here with your second place finisher, Harriet Burbage Smith. Harriet, your first run was just insane. Thank you, it was definitely um, a nerve wracking one for sure. I was, had some jelly legs at the top. I was like, hoping I don't just cave in on one of the, the ramps. Um, but it was it was a good run. It was a run that I knew I could get um, consistently and I was doing those tricks all week. Um, par a few crashes on the, the flips. It was definitely a bit different. Uh, these ramps are a lot more lofty than say speed and style. But towards the end, I was just getting them. It was feeling good, so yeah, I was stoked. Your decision on run two to just uh, do a train down with Robin, how do you feel about that? Was that, that just felt right? Yeah, it just felt right. Honestly, like there were some combos in the flips that I was working towards for a second run, but honestly, the body just, just took too much of a hit this week. And I thought, I don't think I have it in me for a second run. And I talked to Robin at the top and I was like, look, I'm happy. I'm happy to go. She was like, oh, thank God, me too, let's go. <laughs> Robin Gooms, uh, not alone was that just an insane run, but you've gone and just won the whole thing. How does it feel to win the first ever FMBA women's slope style here in Crankworks, Rotorua 2024? That's a long one, isn't it? Yeah, there was. Um, honestly, I feel a little bit sick. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel real. I didn't expect it, but it's pretty special. Just I guess the emotions everyone's going through, like all the riders throughout the week, your, you know, wind, rain, am I getting this trick? Have I done it too many times? Am I overthinking? It's just incredible. Yeah, it's a lot of all of that stuff. Like it's an emotional roller coaster all week, battling with the weather, changes to the course and just little things. And then whether you've done enough practice, whether you should be at practice and you're practicing too hard and you're tired, but you're like trying to get after it. It's, it was a lot to learn, yeah. um, but it, turns out I think I just proved something to myself by doing that run here and now that I can kind of chill a bit more like I was pretty pretty worried but I think it's all in there. I think you've just proved to the world that you can do it that was insane and it was your first run did you leave anything out or was that actually what you wanted? That was what I wanted I think if I had gone again I could have tidied things up like a little more extension on the tricks and things but yeah, I didn't really have a whole lot more to give, so I'm kind of glad it worked out. There you have it. That is the first ever women's slope style FMBA diamond event here at Crankworks Rotorua 2024. What a monumental day for women's riding. It was a pleasure to watch everyone crush it this weekend. Everyone threw down a flawless run top to bottom, first and second runs. Haz and Robin decided to match up they were happy with their first runs and their positions and they had a party lap top to bottom to finish it out. It was a fairy tale ending to just an amazing week of progression for the females here at Crankworks. Witnessing this in person has been an absolute pleasure. I cannot wait to see the women competing at the rest of the World Tour stops. That's it from me. That's it from Crankworks Rotorua. I hope everyone enjoyed our coverage this week. I certainly have.